five foods five foods you'd never put into your body oh wow okay that's a good one so a you know uh i tend to think that uh one of the things in macrobiotics is that when you're macrobiotic for seven years you are so strong you could eat poisonous blowfish and it wouldn't harm you so there are some foods i will never put into my body i don't consume anything out of plastic the main thing being water out of plastic i would just rather like dehydrate and fall over on the ground than drink water out of a plastic bottle just don't do it you can taste it you can taste the literal plastic in it just cut that out of your life never microwave or cook food in plastic um yeah avoid that stuff like the plague uh other foods i wouldn't put in me um just really heavily processed foods you know like you can kind of they almost taste like plastic when you're eating them right just try and eat real food is the simplest thing is, is, as far as i'm concerned okay I, i'll actually kind of not even include processed foods as okay, a qualification just cut it for out. this yeah yeah because I'm not counting sodas or chips yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. Uh but let's just talk about real food. Water out of oh, which real foods to not eat. I think you can eat any real food. Mm. As long as it's not coming out of a packet. <laughs> yeah. And in moderation, you know. Gotcha. Um I think there's a great I'm working on a book uh about thresholds. It's kind of about it's kind of geeky. Um and it's it's based a lot on this idea that quantity affects quality and the amount of something affects the quality of the thing so again you should be able to eat anything but it's just kind of the quantity of it right mm. so um i don't think you should eat too much meat you know it's essentially rotting inside you and it's not moving right So you've got all this like rotting flesh inside your gut, right? Mm. Um so I'm not a big fan of eating too much meat. Gotcha. Um I think a lot of times people are just they think they got to eat meat 3 times a day or mm. they're going to die or something like that. Mm. I actually don't think it's good and a lot of you know you got to eat super clean meat. That's the other thing. I won't eat garbage meat. Mm. Okay. You know, I'd rather not eat. How much protein do you end up eating every day? Not much. really yeah and you look like this yeah how much protein do you end up having honestly maybe 50 to 100 grams okay yeah wow but again most of the uh, protein that your body is using is not from the protein that you're eating it's from the protein that's already in you hmm. your body is constantly reusing these things right uh so you're talking post folistatin right no no even pre folistatin even even pre folistatin yeah, yeah. i okay. was more jacked pre folistatin you know okay. when i was younger uh i'll send you some pics but even then i wasn't con- like i don't eat uh, protein powders gotcha don't eat protein powders no nope. how, how come it's not food mm okay you you want to expand on this thought a little I, i mean sure so you know um uh scurvy right um yeah they thought scurvy had to do with vitamin c uh because you know these uh sailors would go across the ocean they're all dying and then they realize that oh if you just put some lemons on the boat because <laughs> mm. they'll kind of last for a month or so um and if you have some lemon all of a sudden you don't have scurvy uh it's not the vitamin c you can't live without fresh food hmm so the challenge in going to mars and living on mars it's fresh food mm. humans cannot live on powders and things out of boxes and cans you can't you need fresh food and you could avoid scurvy by eating grass mm. <laughs> you li- we don't even you know in um uh i think in ayurveda they call it what prana or so there's three categories of food satvik tamasic and rajasic satvik is like your macro biotic diet okay. like very pure very raw uh food that's light on the system rajasic is food that's exciting for the system so like spice sugar would also i think be rajasic um uh, 
and tamsik is food that's heavy and makes you lazy so meat is in tamsik a uh, old food is in tamsik okay so they don't talk about completely avoiding tamsik food they talk about a balance and they talk about a subjective balance okay so everyone has a different requirement but isn't there this concept of just like a the life force in yeah. food so, uh, so the moment you pick the food it yeah. starts losing yeah. its life force satvik food has the highest life force okay. and what's also said is if you cook a meal freshly it yeah. has more life force right and uh, if you keep it in your fridge overnight it goes from being sat it could be a satvik uh, food item which could become tamsik the next day yeah cuz so life force goes away i don't food prep mm i think that's crazy this i made um, i made like a week's worth of food on sunday and i'm eating it 5 days later it, there's no life force in it anymore mm. there's no life for it to give you um so i don't do any protein powders um i you know i think you could probably supplement yourself with them but it's like are you literally unless you're at like a competitive bodybuilder i don't know what you're doing like that's just there's no food there it's got too much surface area it's oxidized it's it's falling apart so i don't need protein powders um don't eat too much meat no water out of plastic no uh food that's heated in a plastic i don't eat protein plastic. bars i don't eat protein bars i don't think that's food either right and also processed yeah what about like chilies uh like peppers, yeah, peppers. things like that i love hot food <laughs> <laughs> i absolutely love hot food i actually think a little bit of it is probably a good hormetic stressor mm. you know it gets some of the enzymatic enzymes going some of the digestive enzymes to help you digest your food would you eat offal you know what offal is yeah 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 you okay with that yeah okay like kidney and liver and stuff yeah, yeah. that stuff i think is super healthy okay yeah um you know um if a lion goes and kills an antelope right um and it's not starving say the lion is not starving right it's just typical hungry level what does it eat in the antelope not the muscle it eats the organs mm. and it leaves the muscle for the hyenas to come eat really cuz there's not much nutrients in it for- now if the lion is starving to death it's going to eat the whole thing and it's not going to leave anything for the hyenas right um but in its normal co- course of affairs animals that are carnivores they go they kill their prey they eat the organs and they leave the the rest of it for the scavengers damn didn't know this yeah wow and we as human beings we do the other way to, around we yeah. just eat the muscles yeah if you heard the theory about how the ancient man was actually a scavenger yeah and he weren't at the top of the food oh, chain oh interesting yeah uh, mm, sounds about right <laughs> yeah uh anyway this is a conversation that will never end yeah. if we wish for it to never Think, end and hopefully we'll live forever and keep <laughs> having it yeah if you enjoyed this clip from the ranveer show we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics so explore the channel because there's something for everyone